How's it going everybody? My name is Softline and today my dad is going to be showcasing his characters on Soul Calibur 6, how he personally creates the characters and then I'm going to make my own character and we're going to battle our characters together. Now before we get into that, I have some explaining to do on my part personally. I have not uploaded a video in two fucking months which is absolutely atrocious and I fucking apologize. My motivation for anything at all just kind of packed its shit and left and I was kind of stuck in this pocket of like unused potential and just pure laziness. I'm gonna pull myself up by the shoes, I'm back. I've got my boxing gloves on, I'm fucking, I'm ready to start making content again that isn't just purely fucking streaming. With that being said, enjoy my dad and enjoy the video. I also apologize for the audio quality. The audio quality fucking sucks. The music is too loud for the voiceover. And I am editing this the next day. Have no fucking clue where the first giant half of this fucking audio went. I, it's just up and fucking left. So I apologize for that. But yeah, now enjoy the video. See the snake skin um, on the arm there. Like that. Uh, and a lot of that stuff. And then we see right here where I put uh, a logo there. Of course, I did two tone, bring it out a lot better. Put the secret inspector on him. Um, it just kind of fits Morong's vibe. The warrior's vest on him. Um, it also fits his vibe. Now, there is sometimes uh, clipping issues see right there it's minus two. but you know during gameplay you really don't see that stuff as much so, young Jin Kazama now I picked the ponytail because I don't like to put on cones or anything like that on the back of the head because you can't get the texture right and it doesn't look right so my head cannon this is they've been uh basically uh, portaled into another dimension, just Soul Calibur, and um, but I like to think that Jim fits the trauma of Tekken Samurai gear. I put his fighting style as Bro, simply because even in the Tekken games, he's kind of abolished the uh, Ishima fighting style. So. As you can see, a lot of texture. Um, tones are not bright, bright red. I like to keep some of the tones darker, depending on the hair. Um, oh, this one, it was just actually very easy to make him. Went through a couple of styles before, and I really like this. Steer, Dave, Craig. To show you how how accurate I can be sometimes, but he does have the scar on his lip and the scar on the bridge of his nose. He looks like a younger version of himself. Now on this one, um, I did Coyote Brown with OD Green, signifying, you know, military. We all know Sergei, part of the Russian military. Made him look pretty Russian, natural colors, not too, uh, Go to Tsuya Mishima. Now, he is a little on the darker side. I um, did accentuate the fact he wears purple, wears red. I put the patch over his eye because, um, as you all know, in Tekken, um, he's got one red eye and one regular eye. So, um, the scars are a little bigger than I wanted, but. Um, those were the only scars I could find. But um, he has a, a royalty factor to him. Of course, he thinks he's royalty anyway. I used more aspects that were more Azuya like morning robes. This one would have fit on Warang uh, because in Tekken 7 he does wear a morning robe. But I felt that it fit Hihachi better. You mean the Or Kazuya better? I put him as Palmaru. His fighting style is still Mishima, but it's still his fighting style. Martial law has Maxi because, you know, martial law is 
the epitome of Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee like nunchucks, so got the aviator glasses on like Bruce Lee would. Um, so a, a big factor when I was making these is I want I didn't want them to represent I look exactly like the Tekken side. I wanted them to kind of blend with Tekken and Soul Calibur 6. So this is one that's out of my head. Um, his name is Rogue. But looks like he's got blood on his uh, stones there. Essentially, I came up with a character in my head, a story in my head. That's what we did with him. Let's go through and make. I'll show you kind of my process. Actually, I get original. Um, see that there are many options for whatever you want. So, what I would do is I would pick based off of what what you want your character. I do like Jaws. Um, from The Witcher. So, I think we're going to use him today just to kind of put something together. Use Winter's Blade and let's do Water Splashback. Um, holy gonna come into body now this is where I don't go too crazy I don't go too crazy on like size you know sizing people up kind of use similar facial I like to put these guys with facial hair give him the blaze haircut Juice. I can see the fear in your eyes let's do the veteran now. so go through the equipment I'm just gonna kinda go through it actually pretty quickly. Let's put him with spot. I'm gonna go ahead and do the leather shirt and thief spells for this particular kind of character. I do like using either the redemption chaps or the uh, cataclysm chaps. Leather wrap. Hermit's hood. Lord of the Rings. The King Dude. You know where where they first meet him? He looks all just kind of like commoner um, style those. Um, yeah, those. Yes. The silver knights piece. With that, now we will go and do colors pattern stick. Gray side, leather hair tie. Let's scar on his face oh, white eyes so we're going to change pattern here we're going to make like this is uh, dragon scales maybe and shrink the size down a little bit and the shirt we're going to make pattern of this one this snake skin that extra we want. We want. We want. We're gonna do these what? Kind of make out. Requiem. Pants. These are his boots underneath. So weird. We want like that. A lot of brown. So let's go back up and look at what his shirt numbers first. Three, two. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Two. So I didn't really do a whole lot. But they kind of look like leather now. Softened leather. Or I do this. Putting accents like this. It's more realistic. He 
we have a little bit of gold. And okay, so we're just gonna take a picture, regular, enter name, um, just give him some random ass name. There we go. That'll work. So basically that would be the way I would do it with vanilla assets. Now it's not as flashy as the rest of my characters, but what I like to do is I like to mix and match from the main characters. So I'm not really gonna save this guy. Uh, continue ah! to but I was just giving you a little rundown of how I would do it if I was if I had not bought um, the Tekken pack or any of the other packs that um, are DLC. Uh, assets. Yay, I made my character. It looks like me. Look at that. Fuck you. There. Done. Jesus Christ! Chuckle nuts. Watch this. 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 Watch this.
You win. <laughs> That's gonna be all for this video, guys. If you liked it, leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified of another one of my videos. There's gonna be a link to my Cash App and my PayPal. Both of those things are optional. You don't have to send me a thing, a single thing. You know, it's just optional. There's also a link to my Patreon and my Discord in the description down below. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.